Hi, my name is David and I will be giving you a tutorial on how to install games onto your PSP. You must have a custom firmware. That is a firmware which is like what 3.03 OCE or you can have a 3.71 M33. You must have those three letters or numerals on the end like M33 or OCE whatever if you don't have a custom firmware you should downgrade your PSP using a pen dollars battery there are tutor tutorials on YouTube which which will show you how to make a pen dollars battery without wrecking your battery okay first off I'll be showing you how to put the games onto the PSP. Now, I've got some PSP games that I have downloaded already. And they're here. Okay, you can, you you have it in a CSO format if you download it off this website, Chord. Chord mininova.org mininova.org is a torrent based website so everything on this website will be a torrent therefore you must download a torrent program which will allow you to download these games or files now um, search for your PSP game um, I'll just search for the smallest PSP file which is this one just to give you an example of how to make and install your PSP games into your PSP click on the link make sure to have comments um, I've already downloaded this game so I know it works Okay, all you have to do is press download this torrent. You can use flash get or you can use uTorrent or whatever you downloaded already. I used uTorrent because it's for me it's fastest. So you press OK and yeah whatever. Then once it's finished downloading, you open the containing folder and it will have a bunch of bar files all you have to do is con concentrate on one, it can be any one just double click the first one you see it will have a bar file within most of the games on Mininova are like this some just come with the CSO file straight away that's most convenient you can just type in CSO in Mininova just to download the games but if there's a brand new game just that's just come out and it's in this format then just follow my tutorial as you can see there's two files in there a psp underscore game folder and a umd underscore data dot bin file okay in order to join these two files to make a cso or iso file you must download this program called umd gen at the moment they've made a version 4 all you have to do is type in umd gen in google and find the link and find the link that will allow you to download the program. The program looks like this. Just once here, you can um, extract it to the desktop or wherever you want, or you can just drag it like I do, like so. You must drag it into this window right here. Then you go file, save as. Okay. You have three options. I don't ever use this option. I don't know what it is, but I always use .CSO because it's a compressed version of the ISO. ISO is the original one. It is best. It's for best quality. But if you want something which will fit onto your your Sony memory stick, use CSO. Yeah. Name it whatever you 
want. Save. Okay, you have this. Keep on default 9. At the moment it's generating the ISO. And right after this it will compress the file to make it a CSO. Alright, there it is right there, right there. Now what you do is copy and then you nav navigate to where your PSP folder is. Go to my computer and what you do first is you must connect US USB to both your computer and your PSP. It should be called a file called memory stick. It can be anything else, but usually it's memory stick. Double click into that and go into your ISO folder. It must be ISO folder in the root directory of your memory stick. So if you don't have one, just make one with capital ISO. After that, just copy, which I've done just before, and paste it. As you see, I've already got the file here. Whatever. Yep. Okay. The good thing about custom firmware is you can also pe play PSX games. That is, PlayStation 1 games. Using the emulator that already comes with it. So, um, if you want to play PS1 games, just download Dark Alex Alex's custom firmware which is at the moment is up to 3.90 m33 okay in my games folder I've got a couple I only got two or three PS1 games I've got Final Fantasy 9 this one okay, you can download all these games off um, Mini Nova just type in PSP and PSX and it will give you a list of PS1 games that you can download after I'm lucky enough to um, get the file like this so I'll go to this right here and within we'll have an eboot.pbt file and a keys.bin file that's how all PSX games should be all you have to do is copy and paste one of the folders. There should be separate folders with this in them. You can't have a folder within another folder. And then what you do is go back into your PSP folder. And then, yeah, you go into the PSP folder, not the ISO this time. Go PSP, then game. I use game because I'm on, at the moment, I'm on 3.80 M33.5. But if you have something like like um, 3.03 OCE, you can use the game 150 folder. So you go game, copy, you know, you copy like I just did before, and then paste it into there. That's all you have to do. Let's see if these games work. Mm -hmm. I show you using my goat cam where to go to play these files. Okay. It's not very clear at the moment. Let's make it clear this for you guys. Okay, that's that's that sucks. You can see? All you have to do is navigate to your game bit in your XMB, which is here, and then instead of going UMD, you have to go straight down to memory stick. Press that, and you have your files in there ready to go. You see, I've got my Final Fantasy 9 here. 
and if I would uh, just stand there just then. Press X and you're ready to go. Right, thank you for um, taking time and listening to my tutorial. Hope it works for you. And yeah, um, don't forget, like, don't be stingy and download games all the time. You have, you have to occasionally buy the game so that you can help the developers. The more money, the better the games that come out of them. Alright, thanks a lot guys. Have a good one. And ciao.